Hi, how's it going? It's Give Pause Creative Flow here. Um, we are taking part in Seat Gathering Create Summer 2022. Um, this is hosted by Jana Clinard Harris, Laura D. Dennison, Tina Hoy's Art, Lisa Goodard Art, Mixed Media Magpie. And we have completed week one, week two, and this was week three. So we have also completed week three. We just forgot to tick this off. So I'm just going to quickly grab the pen and tick this off so it was by the sea so we had like a blue ocean theme so we can tick that off but we've also got um these little three children um also by the seaside watching this punch and judy show and then something vintage we've got this book page from 1894 so that's an original book page and then we could definitely tick that off a ticket so we use these two tickets which were created in defender Embra and junk journal january so they're on my playlist so we've added those in really super easy to do just using a hole punch um and then something rusty was this um nail and then the face was the punch the um policeman on the punch and judy show and then these two children they were the faces as well and i had to add in this cute glasses these two glasses so yeah so that was week three so that came that came together quite nicely and we stitched some flowers and everything so if you want to look back on the playlist i have just put it all under seek gather create um so we're on the final page let's just make sure we do this the right way around yeah so this just goes this way so this is for Cuba Journal, Cuba Junk Journal. So that's what I'm actually working on. Um, so week four, what have we got for week four? Okay, so the challenge we have been asked to gather, to seek, gather and create with number one idea. So I've got this book, which is the living world of nature it was from a charity shop it was only i think it was only a, a pound for me um and then it's got some gorgeous 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 pictures of deer in here there's about three pages there's actually more um but i haven't been able to, oh, i just went to the ones so i went to you know what's it called at the back sorry um, I just went to the back and I went to the one with the highest yeah so it says deer but look how many how many um, pictures there are for deer so I went to the one which was 181 to 184 so that's what we're on here and then there's this as well but I definitely really 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 like this picture Sorry, I have to turn it around because of the this camera thing. Um, so that's that's the deer. And then the second thing is use a stencil. So I've got this. Oh my goodness, sorry about that. Oh, we missed a flower out. Oh, we'll have to use that somewhere else. Um, so that's the stencil. And then it says something see-through, which is this pocket. This is what this postcard actually came in so we're going to use this pocket see-through pocket and this is the arcs so this says ottery st mary's church choir st mary church choir not st mary there you are um and that's pretty cool and it says a fix half a penny stamp <laughs> and it's frith series so it's very it's a very nice card actually and then we've got something orange which is this recycled nut bar thing which was suitable for vegans i'm sure this was from lidl i think it was from lidl or aldi one of the two so what to do so this is the, pa the page that we're going to be working on I'm just wondering, should I go straight onto there first? 
I'm just thinking if I do texture paste on here, let that dry. Mm. It just adds e detail because this is some waste from leaves. Uh, that was K and Company stickers. So that was the waste from it. Let me just get the texture paste out one second. Sorry about the movement. Still need to get the right in the. So this is um, structure paste. So it's just going to give some rays to this stencil. I'm just going to hold it down and just apply it with my hand, with my finger specifically. <laughs> I'm just rubbing down and in. Hopefully we'll pick up the detail. Hope you guys are doing all right. I am enjoying these prompts um, from these seek gather create prompts. So I'm just pressing and running my finger down, gathering any excess, I'm not wasting anything. It's a bit like plaster, this is. I've, I've, I recently posted, um, is it this morning or yesterday? Sorry, that's a bit, that was really hard. Um, of some, some lentil, dal and potatoes that I eat, um, for breakfast. I'm wondering if anybody would like to see me actually cooking some of that stuff. It's so simple. If not, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just an idea. I thought if anyone's interesting, that would be something cool to do as well. I usually do shorts of like any plants or. Um, Wow, covered <laughs> plants or cooking things. I usually do four videos of uh, any cra anything crafty. Oh, what am I going to do with this now? <laughs> shall, shall we just put it in the middle? Oh, I must put it in here. I don't want to stay now. That's okay, at least it will clean my hand. Gonna let that dry. This is gonna get washed. I'm gonna put that on my mug. Make sure we take that down in a second. And I say in a second, I mean in like probably 20 minutes or so. So let's just shake that off. Goodness gracious. Um, so this, I'm not sure what else to do with this to be fair. This could possibly be a flip. Let's see. Frame it with the orange. But where's the deer gonna go? Is it gonna sit the deer in this church? Or add it in here somewhere? There's a lot going on, isn't there? I really like the squirrel as well. Unless we, let me just, let me just open this up. Let's open this up first. Grab the scissors. Let's see what we can do with this circle first of all. Actually, let's cut that. Let's see what it looks like with. Um, 
it be too small? Let's just chop that off. I was thinking maybe to add something in there, but I think these are too thin. So I'm not going to... That's aborted. That idea is aborted. <laughs> I'm just going to curl this edge. Maybe curl all the edges to go with the circle vibe. Yep, that's the same music that was in the last video. We're on the same day. <laughs> it's still still bops in the way there so what I'm thinking is maybe so should we put out which deer we want as well first I'm wondering if this can still stay oh goodness me still stay safe in here I've got this texture placed everywhere now um oh, uh let's have a think. So let's choose the let's move that to the side a second. Choose our image. Cause the one um This image with the little the calf is quite cute as well. Where they're sitting down. And maybe they could be sat down on this on this chair like along here somehow. But over this layer over this. A little thing. So then this could be independent in the corner here or in the center so let's go with your original let's have a look at this one first and then we can think about if it doesn't work then we can think about the other one right, i'm just going to cut nearer Roll deer. No, this is not cutting at all, is it? It's tearing. Tearing is what we're doing. I'm wondering if we could do that. little bit if we wanted to or we could do a like slot there so we can pull it out easier possibly the other thing is we could back this with the orange as well maybe the orange orbital We need something behind here, don't we? <laughs> Let's use that. Got to turn that see through as well, isn't it? I quite like that. I'm going to go with. Um, I'm gonna so unless we add some of the writing behind there as well. Mm. 
No, not that. Okay, um, let's stick this down. Here, the back of this first, and then see where that sits. The button. Okay. It's okay if it's sticking out of it, it's fine. Okay, it's good, I think. And then we'll, <coughs> excuse me, we'll add some more glue on the back of there. And after this prompt, it should be tea time. Well, here anyway. <laughs> Oh, this was the slightly loose button. Oh, find this cute. Hmm. Let's add, should we add that? Yeah, get there. That would work. That would really work. So it covers the background of there. Okay, let me just stick. I'm going to use the fabri, fabri tech for this. Could always add um, other things behind here so that um, the glue does show it will be covered oh, it is clear glue but still oh, that string <laughs> I love the architecture of this church though, it is stunning. Like this is not completely dry but it's getting there. So then we were saying, oh, some glue on you. Oh look, it's facing the rabbit then as well. I mean the squirrel, <laughs> not rabbit. Um, Have um, the word orange on that side just to balance it out. Could have cut out the actual orange. Hmm. Yeah, let's cut out the orange. Yeah. Let's add that 
down. Right now, thinking of adding. See, that's still a little bit wet. That's why it's not fully stuck down. It's nearly there. Yeah, this side's all right. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> My goodness, <coughs> something went the wrong way there. <coughs> no, no, no. Let's not do that. No, that's too much. Unless we add some of this frame, because that's on another bit, isn't it? Oh yes. That would definitely work. Then we can overlap that as well. Oh, let me get the let me get the vintage photo. distressing vintage photo and I was just thinking let's use this blender before we stick anything down let's just give that a bit of a and then before we stick that down let's just go around oops bits and bobs are falling out of here Let's just go around the edges first. It's going to bring up some of the texture paste, which will be nice. Still wet. Still wet. <laughs> Let's just go around. Frame. Yes, we can. It's going to go behind here. And this has come together quite interestingly. Fingers, I had no idea. I just pulled out things that I thought might work. Um, I had no idea where I was going with this at all. So one second, let me just, um, I'm just going to adhere this to this, using this, using the high tack, sorry, tacky glue, Anita's PVA tacky glue. Let's just add this on here. Should not have been doing that on there because it, yeah, glue's gone on the thing. Silly. Luckily, it's in there. come off easily. I like the way the catalogue of books is coming up at the top as well. Perfect. Exactly. Make sure that is flush down. And now I'm just going to tear gently because this is original. 1800 book page and then we'll ink round and then we're nearly there let's try and ink shot this right to the edge Lovely, okay. Now, let's give that a nice little shadow. Simple brown ink, make it all vintage. <laughs> Taking a thread with me there. Bit of 
no. Thinking, should I leave that gap from there to there, or should I go over a tiny bit? Or even no, I want to see as much arch as possible. See, I think there might be good. Yeah, it's got orange, orange, I've got that whole scene going inwards at the arches. I'm pretty cool with that. What I might think, what I might do before I add that down. Just get the metallic. And the metallic stuff out. So I'm just thinking maybe pick up a bit of the green. Should go quite well with the so you just activate it with the heat of your finger. One run will be more than enough. Perfect. So might as well go around this triangle. Give it a good blow. Okay. I'm just gonna use the fabric tack again for this. just be an immediate uh, fix then could have used the um, wet glue but I might have walked a tiny bit and I just want this down in the right place at this stage so it's a, bit, a slight overlap slightly down um, We wanted to add a little little tag to here. Yeah, let's let's see what it looks like. Just add it down. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, let me just take that. Let's, let's take a bit of this off. So we've got. Out, hold it down. And Let's put that back in there. You could totally add something on the back if you wanted to. I think, oh, it's moving, it's moving. Let's hold it in place for a second. Um, but I think that's cool for now. So we've got. Let's let's give them a tick off, shall we? So we have got a deer. <laughs> Ta -da! Tick off the deer. We use a stencil with some texture paste. Something see-through, which was this, and also the clear button. Pardon me. The arcs of this beautiful church, stunning church, 
and then something orange was this um, food packaging and we've added an actual orange there I was going to write the word put the word on but I think that looks pretty cool with the orange so that that is our see gather and create complete um, I might do a quick flip through video of all four of these prompts um, yeah so see you in the next one take care for now